You can't rewire your whole brain, but you can build a new pathway if you repeat a new behavior or thought pattern every day without fail for 45 days. If you miss a day, start over so you get 45 days in a row. In this episode, you'll learn a three-step rewiring plan, and you'll see how each happy chemical can help. Step one is to design your new choice carefully. Choose a very specific new thought or behavior so you trigger the same path each time. This is hard because every option has its downside. Step two is to seize the moment to spark your new choice. You may say, I can't spin around in a circle, but you must do something equally awkward to set up your moment of choice. It's hard to act on your new intention because you are used to letting your electricity flow into a big channel without even reporting it to your verbal brain. Step three is to make your energy available for this project instead of spending it elsewhere. It takes energy to push electricity through a small new channel instead of letting it flow down the path of least resistance. Clear your calendar of other frustrations. Do not buy furniture that needs assembly while trying to rewire yourself. This is hard because the reward for your effort seems small in the short run. Fortunately, you can rewire your happy chemicals to feel good in new ways. You can build a new dopamine pathway by stepping toward a goal. Any goal triggers the good feeling as you see yourself get closer. It's helpful to choose a long-term goal, a short-term goal, and a medium-term goal so you can always shift from one to another and keep stepping. You will train your brain to expect rewards instead of expecting to be disappointed. You can build a new oxytocin pathway by trusting in small steps. Withholding trust is natural because social disappointments build cortisol pathways that make trust feel dangerous. For more trust with less cortisol, take a small trusting step, enjoy the oxytocin, and then take another. Oxytocin circuits will build and you will find more opportunities to trust all around you. To build a new serotonin pathway, focus on the social importance you have instead of the social importance you lack. You may have learned that it's bad to think well of yourself, but you miss out on serotonin if you always put yourself in the one down position. You may be doing that without knowing it. For example, you may long for a promotion, but fail to feel good when you get it maybe denouncing the promotion for taking too long, and then starting to agonize over the next promotion. You may invoke the greater good when you put yourself down, but you end up blaming others and feeling bitter toward them. Your verbal brain speaks of equality, but your mammal brain keeps comparing and longing for the one-up position. You can find healthy ways to make peace with your mammalian urge for social importance instead of being bitter. For example, I compare myself to my ancestors and come out on top. And I always look for the advantages of the table I'm at instead of letting my inner mammal tell me I'm at the bad table. Endorphin is meant for emergencies, so building an endorphin circuit is not an option. If you expect to get a daily high from exercise, it will take more and more pain, which is a very bad survival strategy. Instead, Enjoy many small trickles of endorphin by taking frequent movement breaks and making time to laugh. It takes a real belly laugh to trigger endorphin, and that can't be produced on cue, but you can make time in your life for things you think are funny. Our happy chemicals are not designed to turn on for no reason, so we are all on the lookout for healthy ways to stimulate them. That's easier to do when you build a new pathway it takes courage to travel a small trail instead of the big old highway, but the trail leads to a better place, feeling good in the short run when you do things that are good for you in the long run. In the final episode, I'll explain the happy habit that everyone needs, the ability to build a new self-soothing skill 